Wow. Yeah. I didn't expect to see that one, I'm gonna tell you. And she has picked up aces under the gun plus two. Vanessa with aces is like Super Mario with a yellow star. You're pretty much invincible, but you can still fall down a hole and occasionally it runs out before you beat the level. She's raised to 6,500. Rojas has king queen off suit. And he three bets. The re-raise is to 14,500. It's back on Vanessa. She re-raises. The four bet is to 31,200. Rojas pulls back his three bet and makes a five bet. I think I'd rather just call with King Queen. That's just me. He's re raised to 64 and a half thousand. Vanessa could flat or shove. Oh, she shoves. I think I'd rather just fold King Queen here. That's just me. It's for an additional 154,000. Seems like a pretty trivial fold. He really can't be considering folding here. I mean, calling. That's how much he should not be considering it. I couldn't even say the right word. Cool. What? Did he see his cards right? Did he know we're on the bubble? Is he being blackmailed? Why? That is a questionable call. Yes, Antonio. You're right to make that face. Can the yellow star hold? Ace is a huge favorite. Yeah, it's going to take her all the way to the flagpole on this one. Rojas now drawing dead. Hi, Sam. Thank you. Vanessa Salps gets a full double up. Chris Mormon with 7-5 off suit. Mormon stakes a lot of poker players. He's also had some decent caches of his own. Okay, so for mere mortals, y'all shouldn't be doing this stuff like this, but uh, for Mormon, it's fine, but I will call this loose. Under the gun raised to 22,000. Simon Ravensbeck with King-10 suited. I think this is a perfect spot for a call. King-10 of hearts flops very well. That's not a call, that's a re-raise. Ravens back three bets to 52,000. Not a huge fan of this three bet, and look at this. Alvarado wakes up with queens in the cutoff, and four bets to 115,000. Back on Mormon. Oh, no. Looks like Mormon is one of the mere mortals. He's losing his mind, James. Okay, Chris Mormon moves all in. And JC Alvarado calls him. Mormon either assuming JC has nothing or that he can make him fold a monster. I don't see JC 4 bet folding anything better than 10s in that spot. Mormon's all. Right, right. Good play, mate. Good play. 1.1 million in the pot. And that's not a bad flop for 7 5. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Smith is laughing. Call me crazy, but I think it's okay to have fun at the poker table. There's mean laughter and then there's this. Chris Mormon has eight outs. Make that five outs. He needs the K7 or a four for a straight. The river is a queen, a house for Alvarado. Come on. Wasn't easy. Nah, it was pretty easy. Guy gifted you his chips. He flopped the pair, brick, brick, ship it. Dealer did all the work. Seemed pretty easy to me. Pocket fives for Dan Coleman. He raises under the gun. Oh, hi, Liverbury. Folded around to Richard Young in the big blind. King Jack. He calls. Heads up to the flop. Oh, these Macau boys stick together. That's sweet. They're sweet. And that flop is all Coleman. He is a 98% favorite with middle set. Boop. That's my new flop a set noise. I've been working on it. What do you think? Boop. Hate it. Coleman continues for 200,000. Or you. I call. Wow, huge misstep from Young. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure that wasn't Cantonese. Richard Young is drawing to a chop. Yeah, that's a good situation. <laughs> and now he's drawing dead. <laughs> the last of the Macau boys shot down. Back of the feature table, four players have gone to a flop. And that flop is at John Juanda really hard. He's got a set of threes. Four seven. It's Zimnan and Zian who bets out, though, with a pair of fours. Juanda's got an absolute monster. He doesn't have much to protect against. There are some straight draws out there. But it's a really dry board, and raising into three people is going to look awfully strong. My guess is we're going to see a just call. He does just call. Aslan Vorokov has top pair. He's got what's going to be the best hand a lot of the time. 
for those same reasons he shouldn't be raising. He's only going to get called by better and maybe Queen Jack. How does John Juanda respond to this weird raise from Vorokov? Well, this is one of those quote-unquote better hands Vorokov is going to get action out of. He is fidgety. And here comes that action in the form of a stack. It's a three bet to 100,000. Vorokov is being sent a very clear message. He should absolutely know he's beat right now. He has top pair with a cruddy kicker. Oh. What? Oh, no. He's just shoved for 110 big blinds with not much of a hand. All right, call. All in and call. Sweet value bluff, guy. Show me King 10. Don't worry, Johnny. It's not even that good. You think he thinks there's a chance he's ahead once he gets called? If the first raise was for value, the second raise for... Kids, please let this be a lesson to you all. Vorokov drawing dead on the turn. Does he know he's been eliminated? Not sure. Take the walk, my friend. I actually just feel kind of bad. Action on Hillary. He raises his button to 450,000. Now that they're three-handed, there is a huge money bubble here. Some folks would tighten up because of that. Jokaminen, three bets from the small blind with 6-10 suited. Now if I know anything about the Scandies, they're probably both going to get even looser and more aggressive because of this money bubble. Yuha Helpy has been joined by Yanni Soentola. Two million. A four bet from Ellery to two million. Aya. This is just insane leveling happening here. I can't wrap my head around how you get the nerve to do something like this, but I know Yanni can't call. It's five better fold. It doesn't look like he has the latter option in mind. This is a five bet to 3.125 million. Let's see if Hillary's got what it takes to go medieval on this five bet. All in. He shoves! That's it. No more moves left. It's the triple dog dare of poker. Jokamine and Fold. Hillary shows the Queen 8 as if he was bluffing. It was the best hand. I don't know how you play this kind of poker sober, honestly. I can barely commentate on it sober. And I'm not. Hillary has retaken the chip lead. We have to change our hat. Yeah, we have. Rules are rules. Gotta change the hats. It's in their charter.